Outside in an AMG Right outside Okay, Trent Baby, girl, you know me Still with okay, the dogs that are inside All the things you got on me Got a watch for time So what's going on guys welcome back to the channel back on another video for you guys now if you watched the last video you already know what we're doing if you can tell by the title and the thumbnail um so yeah let's go ahead and get into it today i'm gonna be starting on this thing right here so i've already done like some of the boring stuff which is basically i got it set up on the on uh some ramps and jack stands let me show you yeah so i backed it on to these ramps i got from vato zone uh, i got some jack stands under here so it's pretty high for for what we're going to be doing which is good because we need a lot of space uh, got enough space on on both sides don't mind the garage still a fresh garage for me so i'm still organizing uh start a box of goodies so, um, yeah, so basically I'm about to go to work after, after these clips, but, um, this video will continue with however far I get done on this tomorrow. So with that being said, the next clip you see will be the start of the project. All right, y'all. So as promised, I said, the next clip will be me starting on it. Got all my tools right here. Uh, I've already started taking apart just basic stuff, the coolant hoses. As you can see that 454 Chewy ported throttle body, sanded finish. But yeah, basically what I'm gonna be doing off camera is taking off like the intake manifold. I might cut back in when I get to the heads, um, getting this radiator out the way. And uh, a lot of these accessories off the front of the motor. I don't want to bore you guys with all this video time, just me taking off stuff you guys really don't care about. So yeah, in case you guys missed it, this is my ported throttle body, ported intake manifold done by 454 Chewy. As you can see the lip is pretty much gone. Whoops. But uh, yeah, so like I said, I'm gonna keep going. Got down to the motor, about to get the heads off. Got special appearance from Crew Cab Chris. Bought this cat out over here that's still, yeah. He over here, I like he ain't never done manual labor before. They got all hand tools pretty good, God damn. But uh, yeah, got the header separated from the from the heads. So now I'm about to get the heads off. So we can get down to the lifters. And uh, as you can see, the radiator's out. Time cover needs to come off. And uh, we're at where we need to be. So, uh, yeah. All right, y'all, getting to the exciting part. As you can see, you got both heads off, header sitting right there, timer covers off. Taking off the uh, camera taining bolts right now, so we go ahead and uh, slide this cam out. But, interesting fact this is one of the stock lifters. So, eventually, I was going to have to do this anyway. So, yeah. I need a boat. What's holding me? 
Nah, you serious? Just a little bit. Cause it, it ain't gonna be much judging off the Tomorrow. Okay guys, so it is a new day today. Uh probably the last clip you guys saw. Got the um cam in, the cam retainer, bolted back in. So last night off camera uh obviously the heads are still off um i went ahead and installed the training kit on the rocket arms uh, did not get to do the valve springs because the tool i have is trash so i actually have somebody that's going to come over bring me their tool so i can do the valve springs but uh as of right now I need to focus on lowering the oil pan and replacing the oil pump so let's get to it all right y'all so as you can see got the uh new melling high pressure oil pump on got my timing gear on have my new chain tensioner on all of this is uh torque to spec uh here i have the timing cover already punched in the new seal so what's gonna have to happen is use the silicone here and right here at the corner of the block on both sides. I'm gonna put a new bead and put a little bead under the timing cover, slap this baby back on and keep going. For sure. All right guys, so good morning once again. Um, this was not supposed to be a third day by no means, but I kept having technical difficulties with uh, finding uh, what do you call it? A uh, valve spring compressor for for the heads that would compress the double springs that we have. But nevertheless, I got it done. So that's why it doesn't look like I have very much progress here, but I have it done now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to installing these heads. So I'll probably come back in after they're all torqued down and everything. So that way I don't miss anything. But uh, yeah. Okay, so our naked motor now has the cylinder heads on top. You can see we got these uh, Texas Speed dual spring set up. As you can see the new valve seals in there, titanium retainers. Um, so now I'm just gonna go ahead, drop our push rods down in there and put the rock arms, torque that down. And we're pretty much home free right now. The hardest part is done, which was torquing the cylinder head. That's pretty much the last major thing that needs to be torqued besides the rocket arm. So let's go ahead and finish up. 
Okay, guys, so from the view, I'm sure you guys can tell the motor is back together. Both sides, spark plugs, headers, everything. The only thing that's keeping us from cranking now is fluids. So we'll go ahead and top off the oil, top off the coolant. And then we're gonna be cranking this thing up, see how she sounds. So I'll go ahead and do that and I'll pick back up. 12 o'clock midnight. Okay guys, so officially the first start. Uh, first, I'm gonna go ahead and prime the oil system. Do that clutch gas, kills the injectors. Good morning guys, once again, as you can see, got the car lowered off the jack stand, still on the ramps back there. Need to uh, pull this thing out so I can kind of clean up the garage a little bit. So figured perfect time for another uh, cold start. Untuned cold start that is. See if she starts. Let me, let me catch you guys when I get it parked. Okay guys, so as you can see, I got the car back in the garage. Uh, kind of cleaned up most of the mess, but it'll do for now, and at least until this thing is tuned and, and can actually run under its own power. Um, so yeah, so as far as the build goes, she's complete right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed so far. Um, the series is not done yet. Uh, probably the next video or two, is gonna be 
we're gonna put the bass tune on here and probably the video after that is when we're gonna be a JRX tuning to see how much she puts down on the dyno. But until that video drops, I'll catch you guys on the next one.